Lisa Fisher to see what kind of adventure she is on today. It is always a fun one. Hey, Lisa. cleaning, but we're not doing the cleaning, Mallory. Our friends over here at Molly Maid of Greater Little Rock are. Michael Silva Nash is with me, very familiar to Channel 4 viewers. And you know, Mal, we've been focusing on female-owned businesses. Well, this is a female-owned business. His mother is the proprietor, uh, but also minority-owned business. They came to the United States 20 years ago. They have a great success story. You'll read about it in AY Magazine next month. I know about that, but we're here right now with Michael, who's going to help us... Avoid getting the flu right. just around the house. Yes, yeah, around the house. So and the thing is, a lot of times in the, in the, around the house, we have the flu is going around. We got to make sure everything's nice and clean. Uh, and then, so what we have to do, we can use a dish wand to clean the parts of the shower when we're sick. A lot of things are happening uh, in the bathroom that um, that we got to make sure we sanitize and clean. Um, something else that people don't think about is their toothbrush, Ooh, okay? Yeah. Their toothbrush can hold that bacteria on there. So just use some hydrogen peroxide or mouthwash just to put the toothbrush in there. Let it sit for, for the rest of the day after you use it. That way it's being disinfected as, as the day progresses. Okay, what about knobs, handles, those things? Yes, those things are very important. Uh, flu virus can last for 24 hours on hard surfaces, so it's really important that we take care of those areas as well. Okay, let's walk through the kitchen because out here at Molly Maid, you have actual kitchen and bathroom and everything to teach your team. Yes, exactly right. We usually teach our teams and kind of and show them how we do things around the house. Another area is toys around the house. We got to make sure we disinfect those when the flu, during the flu season. So we'll pop those into the dishwasher, um, let those run a cycle, and you'll take them out. They're nice, clean, and sanitized. So you don't have to worry about those germs spreading also. Okay, you had a tip about Kleenex, because we all have Kleenex boxes everywhere we go. What do, you, what do you have here? Everywhere we go, and especially all these tissues, with they're just filled with all sorts of nasties while we're in kind of keep all those tissues put away and, and not spreading germs around the house. You buried the lead. I didn't know Chips Ahoy had a cereal. Well. All right. <laughs> Things you learn right here with Live with Lisa Fisher. At about 435, Mallory, we're going to tell you how at the office you can kind of get germ-free. So germaphobes, stick around. We'll do that. I'd say, oh, I can't do math, but about 25 minutes. Can't wait. So, so important. Lisa, we can't wait to see you in just a little bit. Good tips we all need to know. Coming up, the rain may have stopped for now, but more is on the way. Chief Keith flu germs, cold germs, especially in the office. This is so important, Lisa. It really is. And I'm here with Michael Sylvanash, one of the operators here at Molly Maid of Greater Little Rock. They also have an office now in Northwest Arkansas. So congratulations for that. But um, they are the flu bug eradicators of the South. Right. And so let's talk about how you do it. Yes. So first of all, you really want to just keeping areas clean really helps with, with get, keeping the flu away. So one thing that we have is if you don't have a small attachment for your vacuum to, to vacuum a keyboard, yeah. you could use things like mustard tops. And once you turn it on, it'll stick onto there, and you can go through and vacuum all the small crevices right off the keyboard. Um, and, and that way you get all those germs and bugs off of there as well. And sometimes also during this time of year, we're sneezing a lot onto the uh, screen monitors. So we want to make sure we take a coffee filter. And that way you can wipe off the screen. It doesn't leave a lint. It doesn't harm the, the screen. Um, it doesn't leave the lint that uh, paper towels would otherwise leave on there. Okay, so, what about that thing there? It gets icky. Yes, and it, and it does. And so what you want to do is mix um, some water and alcohol. Uh, um, rubbing alcohol and just wipe it down and make sure it stays nice and clean uh, throughout the day. Probably dry. You know, you dry it real well, easily. Yeah. Okay, so there's your vacuum cleaner that you're using to get the, yes. the suck the, uh, the ickies, yes. right? Exactly. Yes, ma'am. And so another tip, many people, it's also about what you clean with. Yeah. Okay. The other thing that you can use to clean are microfiber rags. Microfiber rags actually pick up 99% of germs uh, and they're... Red germs that, that so much as like cotton rags do. And plus what you all do here is you take the rags home or here to the right. office and you all clean them. I guess we need to be doing that as well. Yes, everything that you're using to clean around the house preventing the flu have to be maintained and, cl and cleaned properly on a regular basis. Okay, I see the flu bug right here, and it's on the copier. Yes, we all know the famous uh, workplace copier, yeah. so we have to make sure it gets uh, cleaned real well. And a way to do that is just put some bleach and water solution, use some Q-tips, and then that way you can get around the small areas that's harder to reach. Um, and you can use it on the keyboard, you can use this around the computer, anywhere that, you're, that you have to be really delicate, but you also want to make sure that you're cleaned real well.
Okay, so everybody's at their office right now. They're putting their masks on, yes. and they're thinking, what can I do? If you miss these tips, uh, facebook.com slash Molly Made. Is it Greater Little Rock? Yes. Greater Little Rock, you can find. They have all these tips all the time. This office here and the one in Northwest Arkansas. In fact, the team is at my house right now every other Tuesday. <laughs> they're at my house and they're cleaning and we'll be flu bug free uh, when they leave today. So Mallory, I know you too, you try to keep your house really mm -hmm. clean. It really helps when you have a team like Molly made. Yes, absolutely. My goodness, especially with